In this exhibition, the sound is um, important. Again, I always use sound in, in some sort of form. And this time, it's not with me singing or, or any compositions in that way. I, I've been using tuning forks as, um, as the sound in this exhibition. And um, I got into them by thinking about frequencies and how we all somehow give out some sort of frequency and, and as, a, as an untuned piano we can get tuned again with the, with the tuning fork and we could, if you want, I could do a, this is a, a demonstration of a, of a, this one I use a lot, uh, it's 174 hertz and it has a very, very good sound, it tunes everything back into tune. And when you're out of tune, you can really hear on it. It has a squee squeaking voice. And you, you, you just have to go on doing this until you hear that it's quite clear. And now it sounds quite clear, but it's because I've been already doing this room and this work and myself. So <laughs> we're in tune now. So is that the fork that has the whole exhibition. Yes, it is. Yeah, I have eight of them, but this is the um, like the base of everything. Then you can use some higher sounds as well, some higher pitch uh, to to do the final touch. But I haven't done that yet, and I don't know if it's even necessary. But I should. I maybe I have to try and see if we if we need the other one as well. But this, the first layer of just, it's like a dust feather, dust feather. You can feather dust out the bad air in a space with this one. Um, and uh, the video, uh, can we talk about that too? Uh, I mean, it's a um, video where you uh, used a lot of existing material, but also things that it's a combination of uh, documentary films mm. and, uh, and, um, and uh, your own material. Mm -hmm. uh, tell me about it. Yes, the, the video, uh, first I made the composition with the sound forks, eight different tones, and I, I, I made it into a 10 minute long uh, composition. And then I started to think about I listened to the sound and and wondered how the the moving image would look like for this sound. So I found the, the images through the sound this time. And there are uh, images from the moon landing and you can see the earth from the moon. And um, there are uh, flickering lights that I've been filming myself and uh, just sunbeams. I, I filmed a lot of sunbeams that I've been putting on, on layers of layers into this film as well. But it's very abstract, more abstract than before. Um, yeah. And did you do the, the film before the, the textile works or per, mm. uh, at the same time? I, I, the, it's all made somehow together. They all had to be done together, but usually my, my, my mornings are always with the textile and then in the afternoon I start, with the, I start to go into the video. And, but it, it's, a, it's a good combination to have both of these, these things. When I talk about you for people that don't know you uh, and um, talk about your video work and, and the textiles. I, I, I don't know if I invented this story, but I talk about um, when you were living in Nepal, uh, in Kathmandu. Mm -hmm. um, but that, that was kind of a turning point from the digital to the analog. Uh, 
Can you tell that story again? <laughs> yeah, yeah. I, I think the turning point for my, me going into more analog stuff was when we lived in Nepal, in Kathmandu, and there was a big lack of uh, electricity. And I had some plans of filming and doing editing and all this there, but, but then we had maybe electricity for two hours per evening, so it was very tricky with the heart, yeah. So, so then there, are, there were so many beautiful colors and textiles and things, so I started to go out to the markets and just bought some, some things that I started to cut and just use my hands because it's so much handcraft there. So it, it felt, it, there, it, was, it was more natural to go um, somehow a little bit more into something more handcrafty. And yeah, and then from there I got really inspired by just making things with textile because I love colors, but I have never been able to, to paint. That's not my thing. And in a way it was also a full circle because it, it also brings back the, the, the way of working as a printmaker because that's kind of what you did before the video. Yeah, printmaking was my absolute first um, connection to art. That's where I started. I did a two. I was at that printing, uh, in a, or it was a school where I could choose painting or print, and I chose printing and then and video. Uh, and that's that's the starting point. And I was never interested in uh, in painting. It was not my thing was too slow I because with printing you can just very quickly you get a color and it's the same with with this technique I can easily put on a color of a, a textile and um, then then if I don't like it I can rip it off and I try again and that that's not possible with another technique so this is something I have invented myself to to fit me and provide me with with uh, yeah, give give me the 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 happiness of working with colors and and um, compositions.